The Dallas Cowboys just slapped the NFL across the face. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Dallas Cowboys news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Ezekiel Elliott open to possible reunion to Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys and free agent running back Ezekiel Elliott have mutual interest in a reunion, sources tell ESPN's Jeremy Fowler. While a deal between Elliott and his former club has not been reached, both sides are open to it, sources added. Dallas likes the way Elliott finished the 2023 season in New England, where he played in all 17 regular season games and saw a significant increase in workload in the final five weeks of the year after top rusher Ramondre Stevenson was sidelined with a high ankle sprain. Elliott, who turns 29 on July 22nd, had waited until August last season before signing a one-year deal with the Patriots worth $3 million. He spent the first seven years of his career with the Cowboys before being released last March. Elliott played 51% of the offensive snaps and running behind a mix-and-match offensive line finished with a team-high 642 yards on 184 carries with three touchdowns. He added a team-high 51 receptions for 313 yards and two touchdowns. The 6-foot, 226-pound Elliott was selected fourth overall in the 2016 draft by the Cowboys. Elliott led the NFL in rushing in two of his first three seasons. A three-time Pro Bowl selection, he has rushed for eight 904 yards and 71 touchdowns in his career. He also has 356 catches for 2,649 yards and 14 touchdowns. It may not seem like much, but the Dallas Cowboys won't be going anywhere if they cannot run the football effectively. To say this is a critical year for America's team would be a gross understatement. Although head coach Mike McCarthy is probably good as gone, it remains to be seen what the Joneses want to do to keep up with the Joneses and pay Dak Prescott even more money to not win. All the while, who is he going to hand the ball off to? In the last two off-seasons, Dallas has seen Ezekiel Elliott and now Tony Pollard sign elsewhere. While Elliott could return after spending last season with the New England Patriots, Pollard will not be back after signing with the Tennessee Titans a few weeks ago. Right now, Dallas has only Deuce Vaughn and Rico Dowdle in its running back room. Fortunately for us, Maurice Moton of Bleacher Report figured out a way to improve the Cowboys' running back situation by way of a trade. He argues that Khalil Herbert's time with the Chicago Bears is probably over with and done, especially with the free agency signing of DeAndre Swift and Roshan Johnson only being in his second year out of Texas. He says a late-round pick may be enough for him. This sort of gets the money to work, as we are at just slightly over 200 k from it being totally even. Let's discuss why this could be an advantageous trade for both NFC clubs heading into the draft. For Dallas, this is about getting deeper and more experienced in the running back room. I am sure they may look at adding a guy like Blake Corum out of Michigan in day two of the 2024 NFL draft as well. While Dallas has done a great job of drafting the position in recent years, how they go about retaining their own players in free agency has not always gone swimmingly. It has been a major fault. For Chicago, the Bears need to recoup some later round capital in the next few drafts. Where it stands now, the Bears only have four picks in the 2024 NFL Draft, none of which are past the fourth round. While they may not need a full draft's worth of selections, having additional late round picks gives them more flexibility to put together packages to move up and down the draft board this spring. Overall, I'm kind of digging Moton's idea of getting Herbert onto the Cowboys. He does a great job with all of his content as everything is well thought out. While making a trade is easier said than done, the genesis of most of his trade packages in this post can work. Of the handful that he has listed, getting Herbert to the Cowboys is probably the least invasive and one of the most effective. Herbert is not panacea for Dallas's running back room woes, but he would be a welcomed addition. The second story is Cowboys could make run at former $118 million Pro Bowl QB says analyst. With Dak Prescott facing an uncertain future with the Dallas Cowboys, adding a veteran quarterback could have increased appeal to the front office. Heading into free agency, DallasCowboys.com's Patrick Walker pitched former Tennessee Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill as a potential option. The former pro bowler remains a free agent, and given the latest news on Prescott, this idea is worth revisiting. 
Here is what Walker outlined about Tannehill in a February 13, 2024 story titled Open Market Intriguing Free Agent QBs for Cowboys. At first glance, I felt this one might be a bit of a reach, but then I considered the fact Tannehill will be 36 years old this coming season, and I do believe his days as a starter are now behind him, Walker wrote. That doesn't mean he's incapable of being a worth backup, though, and that's why I've put him atop this list. A look at Tannehill might be worth it in the realm of possibly being a potential upgrade to Rush, while also providing insurance in the event Lance doesn't progress the way the Cowboys would like to see as they ramp up work on their developmental QB program. The fact I'm intrigued by this at all means there might be something there to consider. Tannehill would bring an impressive resume to Dallas as a former pro bowler with 151 career starts. The veteran remains without a home in free agency after completing a four-year, $118 million deal with the Titans. SpotRack projects Tannehill's market value to be a reasonable one-year, $4.9 million contract. Tannehill's best statistical season came in 2020 when the quarterback threw for 3,819 yards, 33 touchdowns, and seven interceptions while completing 65.5% of his passes. The veteran added 266 rushing yards and seven TDs on the ground in 2020. Dallas already has three quarterbacks on the roster with Prescott, Trey Lance, and Cooper Rush. The addition of Tannehill would likely mean the end of the Rush era in Big D. Rush had multiple suitors during the 2023 free agency period before re-signing with the Cowboys. Could Dallas land a late round pick by trading Rush? Tannehill may not be an ideal solution for 2025 if Prescott bolts, but it gives the Cowboys some insurance just in case the worst case scenario plays out with the team's star quarterback. All eyes continue to be on Prescott with both sides prepared for the quarterback to play out the final season of his current deal. This would allow Prescott to hit free agency in 2025, but CBS Sports' Josina Anderson reported the Cowboys do not intend for this to happen. Regarding the Cowboys and Dak Prescott, I'm told the team does intend to work out a contract for their three-time Pro Bowl quarterback and also has not closed off potential to consummate a deal for him this year, per source. Anderson detailed in a March 27 message on X, while there's currently no offer or imminent talks, the team is not presently charting a path to let Prescott go to free agency, despite some chatter to the contrary, I'm told. Prescott's entire contract history with the Cowboys from his rookie deal, tagging, extension, and restructures are all macro indicators of the eventual goal. The third story is, could Dallas Cowboys trade for Buccaneers? OLB Joe Tryon Shoyinka. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a chance to help out the Dallas Cowboys, and they can do so without paying any steep price or parting from a player who provides any huge impact. The Cowboys don't have too much flexibility with the current situation they're in. They lack both cap space and trade pieces they can move on from without taking any big hits on the field, so they've got to be strategic in their dealings, and the Buccaneers might be a good trade partner for them. Bleacher Report wrote about three hypotatial trades for the Cowboys ahead of the 2024 NFL Draft. Of the three, one included the Buccaneers. The theoretical trade includes the Cowboys sending a 2024 fifth-round pick in return for Buccaneers edge Joe Tryon Shoyinka. This is a low-risk move for the Buccaneers, which would allow them to use the fifth-round pick to continue addressing depth at positions of need, whether it be a skill position, linebacker, or in the secondary, for a low price. Tryon Shoyinka was benched at the edge position this past season. The 2021 first-round pick is now entering a contract year, the final season on his rookie contract. While this could help lead to a potential breakout season, it's not something the Buccaneers should bank on. On top of this, a change of scenery, along with it being a contract year, could be exactly what the former number 32 overall pick needs to find his groove in the league. As it happens, the Cowboys have a big need on the edge, and Tryon comes with an affordable $2.2 million salary. With Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler Jer leaving, the Cowboys with 716 snaps to replace, Bletcher Report wrote, This would be a cheap option for the Cowboys, who could soon enter a stage of desperation to figure things out on their depth chart while allowing the Buccaneers to go a different direction at the position.
Dallas Cowboys cornerback Stephon Gilmore remains a free agent, but one team has been showing significant interest in him over the past few days. Earlier this week, numerous reports stated that the Carolina Panthers have interest in bringing back Gilmore. The Rock Hill, South Carolina native briefly played for the Panthers during the 2021 season, but perhaps more importantly, they're his hometown team. Now those reports have even more layers to them. On Wednesday, the Panthers signed edge rusher Jadavian Clowney, who played alongside Gilmore at South Point High School and at South Carolina in the college ranks. To little surprise, Clowney confirmed that he has indeed been recruiting Gilmore for a Carolina reunion. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to pull up, Clowney said, per the Charlotte Observer. I was like, we got to do the Rock Hill thing over, the South Carolina thing over, trying to get him to come home with me again and have some fun. 